Hey, it's Jeff with Sunnyland Patio. Today I'd like to show you how to fix your swivel rocker. So, welcome to our shop. All right. So, a couple problems that typically come up on older swivel rockers. Um, this is the most common, is the fiberglass spring plates eventually will wear out. You can see that's this plate that's bolted in here. Uh, a lot of times you'll be able to see visible cracks sometimes you'll see cracking along this edge right here you know where the plate is um, and if it's cracked along there at all then pretty much it's weakened and compromised you should uh, consider replacing your plates uh, I'll give you some instructions on that in a second um, if you happen to break your actual metal post here um, we have this replacement mechanism you can spray paint into your color and install that also we have the swivel bushing sometimes these can break down and crack also we sell those bushing separately also that's the part that'll fit down inside of here and then it holds the post um, as well as we have these bar stool mechs which don't have the flex plates these are just rigid aluminum plates that you know can be bolted on so these replace a lot of old steel mechanisms which eventually rust out you know and break free so you do have an alternative uh, we carry these in a straight and then we also have them where they have a little pitch on the website as well so check out sunnylandpatio.com for any of these parts you see um, now let me show you how to do that common repair of replacing the fiberglass spring plates there like we'll do on this chair so let's get started all right first to get started what we need to do is remove the hardware the bolts holding all these assembly together um, take a picture with your camera perhaps uh, or if you have another swivel rocker you'll be able to reference that when putting it back together just in case you forget a part it's always good to have an example or to be able to refer to that photo also so we're simply you could use a, a socket wrench I have this drill set up with a socket already so I'm gonna take the easy way out and just remove all these hardware Okay, now that we've got all our hardware out, we're gonna need to just break this free from the frame there. So it takes a little wiggling around usually to break it free. Let those plates fall. So. Set all these little parts. These are definitely gonna be reused, these little parts here. So let's set those aside. Okay, so the first part came off pretty easy. These we might need to pull them out. clean off now got our old plates out of the way hard work to stay so we've got these old plates don't throw them away yet there's some of the cracking that I was talking about that you could see on these old plates um, you want to definitely keep one keep your better plate of the two and then what we're gonna do let's set the base aside for a minute okay so we want to use that old plate as our template because we'll find that the uh, holes are different patterns from company to company sometimes so you need to make sure that it's going to fit within these other parts and then back onto your base um, now this plate here seems to be just a hair shorter so we're still going to use the two and a half inch by five inch plate because that's the closest and then I just leave a little space on either end to kind of just center the plate then just uh, giving a good downward pressure keeping the plates very straight together we're just going to drill our holes into the new ones see the way the wood caught that we'll just tap that off and then a good idea to do this is uh, is to put your one of your bolts through these holes and then that way they're staying straight so when you go to finish your job it's in place edit, edit, edit. all right we'll drill our other holes now There we go. So we've got all our holes drilled, and then we just take this apart there. You're going to shake off a little dust there. Uh, all 
And there you can see we've got all our holes pre-drilled now and ready to go back on. So let's put them back. All right, so let's put these new plates back into action here. So, so we're just gonna put these back on top the way they were. Slap these in here. We need to use our trusty hammer to straighten that out again. And then we'll put the other side on. Key to remember is you always want something between the bolt head and the plate. All right, you never want that bolt head to be right on the plate. Some people make the mistake when they're putting it back together to put this little blank down here at the bottom or on the other side. So make sure you have it. This is what distributes the pressure, keeps that plate from just fracturing. So here's the general idea of what it looks like here before we start putting the, uh, the nuts on and then the other part we'll put on next here. Okay, so I like to have the nuts on uh, just hand tight at this point. Um, we'll come back and tighten everything down at the end. Uh, this keeps these parts a little bit loose, so if you need a little bit of uh, wiggle room when you were putting the other side on, it's helpful. All right, so then I'll pull this aside and let me grab the other section. So now we've got it kind of pretty well set up. These bolts were already staying in the frame. So we're going to put this side on to the, uh, the chair. You could also do this on its side if it's helpful. All right, sometimes these get a little tricky and the holes might have been a little bit off center. So let's just uh, fix what I had done. It's just like something drilling up through there. That should give us just enough room now to have our bolt clear a little easier than it was there a second ago. So there we go, now we're all through. So what we'll do is we're gonna uh, put the nuts back on here, but first remember that we always wanna use the plate before we have it touching any of the hardware. So we're gonna put that plate down in there. Got it in place, oh, put it back again. So I got the plate on and then we'll put our nuts on before tightening down. All right, then to finish up, we're just gonna need to tighten down our hardware again. Now we want to tighten down to when it's snug. We don't want to over tighten this because you'll end up seeing that it'll fracture those plates. So just when it starts getting tough. All right, well that concludes our spring plate installation. Uh, chair is good as new and ready to go, ready to rock. Well, thanks for watching.